Hoops coming at y'all with another one. So as you probably read from the title, we're gonna be doing yet another unboxing. So today we're gonna be unboxing some amphibians, uh, some toads to be specific. Uh, not just any toads though. These are, you know, the type of toad you can just go out and find in your backyard. These are oak toads that can only be found in the southern U.S. And they also happen to be uh, the U.S.'s smallest toad species, only getting about uh, a little over an inch. So I'm, I'm gonna stop waiting. I'm real excited to get these guys open. You know, they've been shipped. These these are live animals, so uh, they're they're in a box, and I want to get them out. So let's just do that. my boys I did order a pair so they should um, there should be a male and female oh I see them in there moving I think oh wow there's one right there wow tiny little oak toad guys so there there we have it All right, let me, this is the warm pack or cool pack depending and that's about it all right so i do see that they're uh, in the same container i did ask for a pair but you know these are toads so i'm not expecting them to be 100 percent accurate with their sexing um i don't even plan on breeding these guys i'm just gonna put them in my mixed species vivarium. Like these guys are gonna fit right along with that southeastern uh, US theme that I'm going for uh, with that tank. So let's get these, let's get a closer look at these guys. And here they are. All right, and here are the little suckers themselves. So right off the off top, you guys can see that their coloration is, is pretty interesting, at least to me. Uh, these guys, like most uh, toads, they can kind of change their color depending on environmental things like heat and you know, uh, shade and whatnot. Meaning basically they can just lighten up and darken, darker their color depending on their surroundings and uh, other things like mood. But very interesting toad species, very specific habitat that they live in. Uh, we're looking at some adults. These are adult size right here. Here's a quarter for uh, so I just grabbed a little quarter there for size comparison so you guys get a better idea of how tiny these things are. These are, um, again, adults pretty much, so they're not going to get too much bigger than this, maybe just fatter. And uh, yeah, they weren't kidding when they said this is North America's smallest toad species. So here we have both individuals. These guys aren't, uh, you know, toads are more hardy in terms of uh, keeping and, and, you know, just survivability in general. But toads are, you know, they have drier, they don't have a coat of mucus covering them, so they're not, their skin isn't as sensitive uh, as opposed to like something like a salamander. All right, guys, as you can see, they're in their new home. This is, now this is the, the best part. You just get to sit back, relax, and watch them enjoy their new digs. I ordered these guys online from a site called Blackwater Reptiles. They make the fourth species of reptile or amphibian in this vivarium now. This 40 gallon tank will provide ample space and hiding opportunities for these toads. And the other inhabitants in this tank can be found living in the wild side by side with oak toads naturally. With this tank, 
I'm trying to mimic the southeastern United States, so I need certain plants and animals to help me achieve that mental image. With this tank, I also want to emphasize the fact that you can house multiple different species of reptiles and amphibians in the same tank, so long as it's done correctly. Think of this tank as a living art project. This won't be the last time you guys see it. If you guys want to keep up with the progress of this vivarium and these toads, make sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. I'll need help naming these guys, so feel free to leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, a like is much appreciated. Deuces!